Hi, I'm Ben and I'm the CTO from BIM Object. And in this short introduction tutorial video, I'll be going through the Stanley Facade Cladding System for ArchiCAD. The Stanley Facade Cladding System for ArchiCAD is available via BIMObject.com or via the integrated app for ArchiCAD by clicking on the Cloud App button and searching after Stanley. You can find the products on the portal immediately for download. Once you download these products, these are not freestanding objects. These are actually attached to the accessories tool, in this case, wall accessories. So what you find here is a highly parametric intelligent object that's attached to an automatic placement. So there are huge benefits for you as an end user. You cannot work with outside the constraints of the Stanley facade cladding system. You can override certain parts of the system which are, are available in this particular object. You have different family types. You have the Stanley color or you have the Stanley nature, different materials to choose from. Um, regarding materials, I'll come to in just a moment. You have different profiles with regard to horizontal and vertical gaps and also corner profiles. You have different thicknesses that you can work with as well as you can see here on the left hand side. Moving on to the next part of the object, you have some different systems that you can work with here. You can work with the gaps in between each panel. You can either work with defaults, as you can see here, are 10, 10 millimeters, or you can create your own. Um, please take note that you will, will need to contact Stanny if you do decide to go with outside of the constraints. We also have different edge treatments here. There's three different presets, or you can override this yourself, uh, as I showed just a moment ago. We have different grid placement systems as well. So we have horizontal, vertical, custom placements. You can also reset the origin or the raster if you um, if the design gets a little bit out of hand and you want to go back to the default. Materials I'll come back to in just a moment. We have some 2D settings here. And finally, we have some uh, material settings for the actual system, so the framing system. We have simple and detailed modes as well. So once that's been configured, you go ahead and click on the side of the wall that you would like the facading, the cladding system to appear on. As you can see here now in the 3D system, we have the facade cladding system according to the settings that we just set in the uh, user interface of the object. What I'd like to demonstrate now is how we can change the colors on individual panels here. So by choosing the color editing mode, we're given a, uh, a color palette in the 3D window. Note that this only works in the 3D window. So what we can do via the intelligent hotspots, we can grab one of the color palettes and we can drag it and drop it onto the panel that we would like to change the color of. So lots of benefits for you as an end user. You can really work with your design. You can do some nice fun designs with different colors. And again, this is also available for the nature range as well. And you can really get some nice different designs going here as well. What you can also do is that you can change the system here as well. So if we go back now and we choose the edit cladding mode, and it's very important that you have the detail level set to detailed. If it's set to simple, it will not work. As you can see here now, we have lots of intelligent hotspots. The little purple hotspots in ArchiCAD denote intelligent hotspots, meaning that you can do a function with them. So there's a function attached to this particular little hotspot. As you can see here, I can move the individual lines or I can move this on a row or a column base as well. You see on the very far left hand side of the wall or of the facade cladding system, we have some round circles. This will actually move the whole row in proportion to what you've set in the user interface. So if you've set the maximum, so 1200 or 1185, you uh, you cannot go with outside of that constraint. You can see here that we can also rotate the grid as well if you wish to. So as you can see here now, just as I explained now, we're moving the whole row proportionally. You cannot go with uh, go outside of the constraints that were set in the user interface. So again, lots of benefits for you. Highly intelligent, highly parametric. You can get out your bill of materials in the form of an element list. So what I'd like to demonstrate here now is when we've applied uh, some facade cladding on a, on a larger building, as you can see here. Now you can go in and, as I've done here, started to change and play around with the facade. It's also a very high level of detail, as you can see with the, the gap profiles and the edge profiles as well. We've chosen the different um, profiles um, regarding corner systems here. And for the framing and the gap profiles as well, as you can see here. So if we go ahead and do a quick 3D section through this building, you'll also see 
the um, the framing system in the background. This can be turned off, of course. So if you only want to see the um, the individual elements, so the individual facade um, system, you can turn off the framing system. So we're very excited about this development. We're very happy. It's available for immediate download on bimobject.com. Again, search for Stanny or via the integrated BIM object app for Archicad, clicking on the cloud button and searching for Stanny. So I hope you enjoy these products. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.